Hi, everyone, and you are welcome to Usability. Are you an enthusiastic gamer of Vikings War of Clans and would you like to have fun with this game on big screen? In this video you are going to find out about playing Vikings War of Clans on PC. No more need to stick the eyes on tiny screen but it's the time to relax and play Vikings War of Clans on PC. You are viewing it on the screen, and you may discover how it is actually running. Without more wait, we should take the start. So as to install this game on computer, we have given a website link for you in the description of the video tutorial. You'll find this link actually. Simply click it, you will reach to this web page of Bluestacks Vikings War of Clans. Install Vikings War of Clans on your laptop making use of Bluestacks. If you wish to play games on laptop or computer then Bluestacks is certainly helpful and it works like an emulator. We go to the Download Vikings War of Clans for PC button and then the download will begin. The download is completed, right here is the file. Click this downloaded file. If agreement or terms show on the screen then you will need to enter yes and then accept them. Now I minimize the browser tab so I can only focus on the game installer. Now I am going to choose the directory where I'd like to install the game. If you'd like to customize the directory then you can only click Customize Install In. We just leave it as it is, we simply click back, and then we choose the Install Now button. It'll just take some MBs from the storage of your PC to download this particular file. The downloading will depend on the net speed. Now it is going to proceed to installing the emulator. As you have seen, the file is installed in my laptop. It's the first time it will open blue stacks, so it is going to make a series of configurations, which it's only gonna do now, the rest of the times it will not take too long to start. Don't miss to see the next thing. If you want to sign in to Google Play, hit on Sign In. Log in to Google Play by giving your email as well as password. You cannot continue to install this game without sign in because it's a Google Play game. We are also gonna sign in now. We will enter in the email as well as password of our Google account, and that's it. See, we have now signed in our Google account. You are supposed to accept the terms and for that, just hit on, I agree. It tells us that if we want to make a backup of the device in the cloud, we choose no, you do what you want. Note that this specific device is just like a cell phone or perhaps a tablet, and it'll give us the option to save a backup of our files in the cloud in case we lose it and want to recover it. We have now accepted the terms of use and we have signed in Google Play. If you need to return to the desktop, you will need to click this small arrow. Prior to moving forward, examine the two icons it has created here, Bluestacks as well as Bluestacks Multi Instance. If you want to launch Bluestacks app then hit Bluestacks icon. After completing all of the important parts, we have eventually reached the installation phase. Vikings War of Clans is now being downloaded, be patient. If you have speedy internet connection then it won't take so long as to download Vikings War of Clans. So as to keep the video short for you, I will cut this step and will return later. Fantastic, right here is the icon of this thrilling game and this particular icon is just like the one that shows up in mobile. Just like all other software that you start on your computer, this Vikings War of Clans game will start after pressing this icon twice. We will launch Vikings War of Clans from here, but I will explain to you how you can do that if we start Bluestacks. See, we are going to launch Vikings War of Clans by clicking on this particular icon. Here's the keyboard setting if you need to configure it. Let us keep it at the default, hence we just close it. To start with, I'd like to explain how the two main big screen solutions. You can just expand the emulator and the screen will definitely broaden. This particular option is just ideal for people who need to get the big screen however, not 100% full screen. Either you need to go into the full screen mode or perhaps go to normal mode, you need to touch F11. This way, we are able to play in full screen without even anything from Windows troubling us. In case you have a powerful computer then it will better aid gaming in an emulator. Let us now rapidly take a glance the way to alter the language of this game, for this purpose, you are likely to simply click preferences. It is possible to select any language from here that you want to. And here it is. Finally, we are done with setting up this game. Don't forget to like the video and leave a comment, we will be pleased to answer back. Thanks to you for paying attention to this video, and we'll be back in a new video. Bye.